Hello and welcome to Non Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your Impact Review. And I've just realised my daughter's bowl is on my fucking my desk. Anyway, guys, <laughs> don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that beautiful notification bell. All the support recently has been amazing. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of podcasts coming up next week after obviously I do my challenge kind of thing. I've got an update coming at the end of this video as well on what's going to be happening over the weekend. Um, but yeah, let's get into the Impact Wrestling Review. So we kick off with Scott Demore coming out to the ring. Um, the Impact roster surrounds it. Demore kind of says that there wasn't a rematch clause for Swan, which... <laughs> so he's got to do... Um, there'll be a six-way match at Under Siege to determine Omega's number one contender. Um, and for the next two weeks, there'll be qualifying matches. Um, and then we get into something. So... Under Siege qualifier, Jake something versus Chris Bay. Chris Bay got the win here. I, honestly, I thought he was probably going to get the win, but uh, yeah, really good match. Um, nothing that I can really complain about at all. Again, nothing that I can really complain about at all, honestly. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, honestly, I really liked it. it. It was a great opening match. Three stars I'm going to give it. and I didn't think Jake something... Should have got Chris B deserved the win, but Jake something deserved the win. Somebody had to lose. Yeah. Um, then we've got Sam Beal versus W Morrissey, which I'm not a big fan of the name, right? Even if it is real name, whatever, I don't care. It's not a cool wrestling name. It doesn't have a ring to it. Maybe it will when he gets a bit of motion, but at the minute, no. It's just a squash match. Morrissey obviously got the win here. Um, it's the right thing to do. There's no need to put him in an actual competitive match at this point. Let him get that squash match and let him start building. <clears throat> Sorry guys, then we get Kimberly with Susan versus Tyler Wilde. Tyler Wilde got the win here, 2.5 stars. Solid match. The one problem that I've got with the, the Impact Women division at the minute, and this is just a small gripe, I love Impact Wrestling, is there's nobody believable that will beat Prusa. And I don't think, yeah, that, that's, that's it. That's the only gripe that I've got. It takes a little bit of time to build it. Once they've got it built, it's going to be good. But till then, it still leaves a lot to be desired. Anyway, the Impact X Division Championship match, for me, probably was match of the night. Ace Austin versus Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander got the win here. Uh, three stars. Great match. There's honestly nothing else I can really say about that. It was just a fantastic match. <laughs> uh, yeah, X Division honestly is feeling like the old X Division again and it's really got substance to it and it really feels like you have to tune in to watch it even if the rest of the show sometimes is a little bit ropey then we get the Under the Siege qualifier Brian Mears versus Mark Cardona Cardona got the win, good match, two stars solid, nothing special then Under under Siege qualifier Sammy Callahan versus Eddie Edwards there wasn't a winner here eh, per se, I don't think eh, it, it was a quality match, it was okay, um, but then it was really just there for Omega to come out and do make his appearance and do a beatdown. Overall, I'm going to give the whole show 2.5. The strongest part of it was that opening match and your X Division match. Apart from that, it wasn't much. I'm still not a big fan of Omega getting that belt. I don't think it really works well for the company. Swan or nobody could have got the win over him at the, at the minute which is a pain in a way do you know what I mean like I'm just not a big fan of it who's going to beat him eventually I'm excited to see how it plays out I'm excited to see who's going to take the belt from Omega eventually other they going to do which I'm seeing a lot of people saying they should let Omega run with the AEW the Impact and whatever else for the next year no don't do that <laughs> you're going to fucking kill the business that you've owned. AEW, it'll work, right? It could work up there. But Impact, it just looks like a secondary bill. And it's going to ruin the the show for me. Because you're expecting Omega to turn up. He's not, wrestling, he's not really wrestling on the show. He's turning up to do nothing, really. Um, come out and do a beatdown. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... Yeah. I, I'm not a big big fan of it, but I'm really excited to see how it plays out and see all the moving parts in it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed your Impact Wrestling review and your update here. So, this weekend, I'm away. I'm away Saturday, but Sunday, I'll be back. You'll get your, your watch along up on Sunday, because I'm going to be doing 
recording it today. Um, I'm away on Sunday. Or sorry, I'm away on Saturday. All day. So I'm, I'm doing like a 46, 50 mile walk. Um, it just depends how, how long it takes. But it's going to be around about 46 to 50 miles. Um, I've got pretty much the whole day to try and do it. I'm going to try and get it done in about 12, 14 hours. Which is quite a good pace like to have. Um, so I'm going to try and get it done in that. I'm walking from one side of Scotland to the other side. Or from fucking one inch shot of Scotland to another inch shot of Scotland. Not the actual coast because that would be like uh, into the next day. But uh, I'm doing that and that's why I won't be here tomorrow. So you won't get your Smackdown review um, and you won't get this week in wrestling. Now Smackdown review I'll probably keep and put up on Monday. Um, and this week in wrestling I'll probably do something with it either Sunday or Monday. But... We'll see what happens, see how things go, see how I recover from the the kind of journey. But um, yeah, I've got that and that's the, it's just going to kind of, don't be any videos tomorrow. There's a bunch of wrestling content creators you should go check out this weekend. I'm going to put the links in my Twitter um, and go check them out. There's, there's literally a bunch of great, the wrestling community on YouTube at the minute is so fun. Um, just to kind of watch and enjoy and I would recommend you go kind of, you go watch the guys that I put on Twitter tomorrow instead of from watching my ugly face. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back here uh, Sunday. See you back on Sunday.